And then also, you know, you had to go out to California last week and the senior mm -hmm. bowl was going on. You know, what what is your thought process behind what you want to do out there? And I know you talked to Anthony Lynn out there, visit your father, played in the golf yep. tournament. What what would you know, what uh, what was your thought process with that? Well, first of all, is as soon as the season's over, I hadn't taken a break. Right. My dad was coming up on his 87th birthday. Um, you know, it was an opportunity to go out there. And if something were to happen with one way or the other, I was going to visit a candidate. Um, so I went there knowing that. Um, I think people miss the value of going to a all-star game um, because how many coaches miss them anyways? You know what I'm saying? It's not like there's 100% participation. There's video, okay? There's tape that, that you can watch. Um, there's an opportunity to go to pro days that will come up. You're going to see guys go to the combine, and you're going to get a chance to watch them there. You're going to get a chance to interview them there. So it's not like that's the only place I will ever see those guys, okay? And a lot of my judgment is going to be based off of tape um, more so than anything else. And then some of it will go, uh, some of the guys that I have interviewed individually. So as far as that's concerned, you know, um, I mean, I, I, I'm not sure what the whole hubbub is. You know what I mean? Yep. I mean, how many guys, you know, can you sit there and say that we've drafted uh, from the senior bowl? Anyways, okay. I mean, again, let's be realistic about what's at, at hand for us in terms of technology. You know, you know what I'm saying, John? Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's honestly, I think it's just give somebody an opportunity to bitch about something. Okay. That's to me, that's, that's the way it feels. Okay. Um, I'm not a big fan of going to the senior bowl because if I'd gone to the senior bowl, every guy that wanted to be an offensive coordinator would have come up to me and I wouldn't have been able to watch practice to begin with. <laughs> I mean, no, I, I believe yeah. me, I know it because I've gone through it when, when I've had to hire staff, that's what's happened. We went down my first year. In, in in here, okay, we flew down for the day and I didn't get to watch much practice because everybody came up to me. Everybody wanted to interview with me. Everybody wanted to talk to me. So let's be realistic about those things. You know, I mean, again, it's one of those things that I've gone through it. I understand it. I get it. And some people put a bigger value on it. Great. But, you know, in, in my 12 years as a head coach, the value I put on is what you see on tape and then you know, I go from there. I mean, I watch three or four games per player. Some guys, I'll watch more. Like when we were watching quarterbacks last year, I watched eight, nine tape, tape for some of the quarterback prospects we looked at last year. Ron, I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. I know you're doing the round, so I appreciate your time. All right, John. Thank you.